What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight we are going to be working on an old 9973 with 170,000 miles on it. It's time for some new injectors and as you saw on the thumbnail, some injector cups. If you guys don't know how to do it or have never used Riff Raff Diesel's injector cup removal tool, you might want to check this out. Alright guys, let's do it! guys thanks so much for coming back we finally got the valve cover off pretty self-explanatory taking the 73 valve cover off really isn't that big of a deal and in all honesty it was probably like 10 minutes and we had this valve cover off we went ahead and have disconnected all the injectors and all the glow plugs and have removed from the engine all the injectors have an 8 8 milli bolt fastening this little collar down so that it seats into the cylinder head. We have removed all of the outboard eight millimeter bolts. And now it's time to remove the fuel injector. There is a special tool from Ford, which currently right now we do not have. So we're gonna take about a six inch pry bar and we're just gonna go underneath the head of the injector and we're gonna lightly pry against the cylinder head. And you see it just came up and a couple little, a couple little more jabs maybe a little twisty twist and she'll come right out just like that we are replacing these injectors so we're gonna have to save these cores because they will have to go back to the manufacturer but there is our fuel injector there she is cylinder number two and we're gonna continue all the way to cylinder number eight That was the easy one. Now when you pull the injectors out, the oil and fuel rails are gonna all leak into the cylinder. So you are gonna have to pull all of the glow plugs so that when it comes time to evacuate the cylinders of all the oil and fuel it is going to have a path to go out because we don't want this thing to hydro lock because it will if there's any fluid in the cylinder you guys see we're, we're not getting crazy with prying just using a little pry bar couple laps against the cylinder head with your hand and uh yeah it'll come right out Last one in the back left, number eight. She's gonna be coming out. My knee. Oh yeah. Woo. And cylinder number eight is the special one. You can see the identified blue connector. This is white. This is the long lead injector, the cackle injector. Uh, it's commonly referred to. They sound different compared to the other injectors, and the noise and everything inherently is going to be louder with cylinder number eight. So it's actually got a quieter injector. Uh, just for NVH. Will the truck run still if you have this? Yeah, are you gonna notice? Oh, you might, but there is technically a different injector for number eight. So just just a note to yourself if uh, you're wondering why your number eight is blue. All right, we're gonna start on the passenger side. I'm gonna let him pop them all out and uh, you guys will see they exactly came out. They are gonna come out the exact same way as the driver's side, so um, I guess there's really no need for me to show you how to do it. Same tool, same technique. Ooh, we still got wiring on this side. Oh, got to take the valve cover gasket off on this side. And then we'll take the injectors out. All right, so before we install this tool, it is indicating to us that the arrow 
needs to face the valve springs. So you guys can see the valve springs. The tool has to sit like this and it's gonna use the injector bolts that hold down that collar to hold the tool in. So what you're gonna to have to do is remove the inboard bolt now so that we can install the tool down in there and you're gonna see what that looks like in just a few seconds. We're gonna put the tool down in here. Here are the threads that are gonna cut into that cup. And what size are these up here? I don't know. Well, let's tell you what these size are. All right, this big nut is 7 8 22 mil, and this one is 3 quarter or 19 mil. So we're going to go ahead and set this tool up and bolt it down finger tight with the arrow facing valve springs. Now we're gonna use the, the middle bolt, which is the three quarter 19 mil. That's what we're gonna use to cut our threads. And we're gonna do this just a couple of turns. The more you actually tighten it in there, the harder that cup it, it is gonna be to remove. So we're just gonna be slowly turning this, giving it a <coughs> few good cuts in there. I don't think we should go any tighter than that. And we are now going to use a 22 mil socket to turn that out. And just like that. Take these bolts loose. Get the inboard bolt loose and up out of it, and then you should pull the tool up with a, a cup, cup on there. Not like that. <laughs> no, no cup. Ooh. That's what you want to hear when you're tightening it. Oh, yeah. I think that'll get it. Yeah, go a couple more. Yeah, yeah. last time okay that's not gonna work make sure your sock is deep enough Cup, folks. Check it out. Did its job. Cut right in there to the upper upper ridge. The uh, the cup where the injector is gonna mainly sit. Right into this region. Yeah, cup is out. Now we are gonna repeat the same step for the remaining eight. I'm not gonna show you all eight. This is how you do one. The next thing we're gonna show you is to prep the cylinder head and the cup, and then we're gonna install the cup back into the cylinder head. All right, here we go. All right, we are at the next step. We're gonna clean the injector bores out, and we have this lovely toilet brush. brush, toilet brush. And we are going to clean out the inside of that bore, trying to get all the old sealant and nasty crud that may be on the parts of the head where that cup is actually going to seal. We're going to show you on the cup when we apply that new Loctite. And that's kind of what you guys are going to be looking at. Get it as clean as you can. Usually what I'll do after is I'll get some white pull, towel, white pull towels 
or blue towels, you know, from your local auto parts store. Maybe wrap it around a screwdriver and uh, spray some brake clean on it, and I'll thoroughly um, clean the inside uh, bore of you know anything that uh, the brush was cleaning off. So that's something that uh, you want to make sure to clean and to get it nice and and prepped for the installation of the new cut. All right, we just cleaned all of the injector holes and let's take a look and see how nice and clean that looks all nice and dry all nice and free of debris now we're going to go ahead and spray it with a little brake clean get all nice and clean gonna get a rag gonna wipe all that out and then we are going to show you guys how to apply this specific Loctite to the ceiling surface of the cup. And this is going to be important for it to start adhering to the metal in the cylinder head and cure before we put the injectors back in. Oops. Cleaning it out. That's what it should look like when you are done cleaning the bore. That is a pretty clean injector bore for the cup in the cylinder head. Here's the old cups. Here are the new ones. You guys can see where the ceiling surface is going to be right here along each side of the cup and part that's down in the head that's where that's ceiling right there new ones look how nice and clean that is look at that so we have the workshop manual pulled up and it says apply thread locker 620 which is what we have and you can see the illustration where they want you to put it and then you can see the illustration for riffraffs. And that's exactly where we are gonna be putting that Loctite. Here is the other part of riffraffs tool. This is the installer. And the cup sits right on here with an O-ring and holds it into place while we install and apply the thread locker to this ceiling surface right where I was showing you guys prior to this clip okay here it is green all over just like that oh yeah oh yeah Okay, once that's all applied, we are going to install that tool back in, just like the remover, where we used the inboard and outboard bolt holes that held the injector down. Remember we had those thumb screws? That's what we are gonna be installing this in. Try to put it in there nice and perpendicular. Start your first bolt. Get your outboard bolt. And that bolt there in the middle, which is gonna actually drive and press the cup in, is that 19 mil or three quarter wrench. Hold on, let's jam back up. Nope when you guys are installing that tool remember that arrow is going to be taking the same same spot as the remover make sure it's facing the valve springs 
So we're just going to keep turning that until it bottoms out. Just going to be using hand tools. There it is. And we're going to just tighten, like I said, until it bottoms out. We're going to be pressing up against that plate, which is attached to the fuel injector hold down holes. And you can see he's just tightening it until it's going to bottom out. You'll feel it stop. So we're going to take it to 10 foot-pounds right now. We're gonna torque the cup with the installer still in it and make sure that it's gonna be fully seated. Okay, now we just gotta take the special tool out. All right, check it out, guys. Look at that. Cup is in. Look at that. Looking nice. Looking clean. I like it. Looks nice, nice and clean. Way better than the ones that came out of it, by golly. So you guys have two options. Either you guys can let it sit here and cure, or you can install a fuel injector to help seat and, and cure that cup into place. That's totally up to you. Uh, we are gonna be installing a fuel injector, uh, new ones actually, into this truck, all eight, and uh, I believe we are gonna do that right now. We're gonna be installing full four stage one and a half injectors for the 7.3. We got the brand new ones here in the box. Nothing like some 7.3 injectors. You know how heavy these things are. Ooh, and they're already O-ringed, ready to go. That's what's up. I know I hate trying to put these pink ones on. It hurt my freaking fingers. But uh, yeah, we'll get this injector in real quick. And then, uh, yeah. Okay, we're getting ready to install the injector, but we need to put that inboard bolt in, and you need to torque that to 10 foot-pounds. Remember to lube up your injector and remember to lube up your injector and then we're going to install that back in its respective bore. Good thing we're not going to have any IQA numbers to program because we can just slap these boys in. Can you give a little persuasion here? Yup. That's how I would do them. Gentle little tap tap. Outboard bolt. Again, that's going to be 10 footies. We will have to install some new oil spout on the inboard of that collar, which will help divert the unused oil out of the injector to the valve train drains. Perfect. That, my friends, is how you install your injector back in after doing cups. Seven threes aren't something I get all the time, and when doing some repairs here on the weekend, replacing the turbo, replacing some cups, everybody has to know. 
how to install these properly and safely so that you do not have a possible repeat repair heaven forbid you get a pink sheet tell me what you think about this in the comment section below guys if any of you have had to ever replace your injector cups on your 7.3 let me know in the comment section because i'm curious to see what your method is thanks so much for watching remember to like comment sub share and i'll catch you guys all next time see you.